Do you want a super intelligent brain? You should probably put down the textbook and pick up a novel. Anthony here for D News, and we are living in a time when more people are interested in the sciences than ever. Merriam-Webster declared science the 2013 word of the year. This is an awesome thing. It is a spectacular thing. But as we are searching for brain food and self-improvement, it's important to remember how important the things that we find fun or even frivolous are to our brain as well. Take, for example, reading fiction. Humans love a good story. Our brain loves to try and find patterns and meanings in things, and stories are a great way to do that. If you're hearing a lecture that's full of facts and bullet points, you know, just straight data, then the language parts of your brain work alone to decode the words into meaning. But if you're being told a story, something interesting happens. Not only do you decode the language, but your brain activates any other part that's related to the subject of the story. If you're hearing a story about someone running, your motor cortex lights up and goes through the mental motions of running. It's easier to remember stories than plain old facts because to a certain extent, you're actually living the story. It's a phenomenon called grounded cognition. And those reactions could lead to lasting changes in your brain function. Researchers at Emory University had subjects read about 30 pages of a novel, and then they came in for fMRI brain scans for five days in a row afterwards. And for all five days, the subjects showed higher activity in their temporal cortex. That's an area that controls how receptive you are to language. Their central sulcuses were more active too. And that's the bit that makes that grounded cognition happen. So reading a novel for just a day increased every subject's language skills and motor skills for five days afterwards. I wonder if there is a novel out there that specifically describes the main character not tripping over his feet because I could use the mental practice. New research also points to literary fiction in particular being important in the development of empathy, right? So multiple studies by the New School had participants read some popular fiction, some literary fiction, nonfiction, or nothing at all. And then they were given tests to see how well they could infer what other people were thinking or feeling. And people who read nothing or nonfiction had almost no gain. People who read pop fiction were about the same. But People who read literature showed huge gains in their ability to understand the emotions of others. Now, the researchers think that that is because pop fiction just isn't well written enough. There isn't consistency or predictability in the characters' reactions. But literary fiction has more depth, and it pays more attention to the psychology of their characters. So I guess less Hunger Games and more Brave New World if you're looking for a dystopian nightmare and you like to grow as a person. I don't know if I buy that difference. I have to admit that I have been ignoring all fiction a little too much lately. I feel guilty if I read too much of it without picking up something that's considered more traditionally educational. I gotta get better at that. Give me a good book to read down below in the comments and subscribe for more D News.